now i'll show you how to do the common source experiment in the cadence using cadence tools file go to file new cell view go to your library so my library is atmec and type the cell view name so that is cs underscore a m p that is common source amplifier the space is not allowed so instead of space you use the uh, underscore okay after that go to file now uh, sorry create instance browse as usual you go to the gpdk 180 library so here for this experiment we need one pmos and one nmos so let's go for pmos so we need to change some parameters for pmos we'll change the length as one micro and a width as a 50 micro okay so click on hide and place here so next we need a nmos so nmos and we need to change some parameters for this also uh, we need to give a one micro length one micro length and 10 micro width total width should be 10 micro okay so we'll place it here now we'll take pins for this so that is uh, v in input pins v in v bias v i VSS pin and one more the V out pin. V O U T V out. So change direction as output. So place it here. After that, do the connection as per the circuit diagram of the common source amplifier. If you did any mistakes here, there is one icon here that is undo. So I'll just connect those pins. Next, so we out to this thing. So after connecting all the points, just click on check and save. So after this, check and save. Go to create cell view from cell view for creating symbol of the common source amplifier. Click OK and rearrange the pins as per your symbol so vdd should be on top cut paste vss at the bottom cut paste and v bias also in the bottom paste ok click ok the symbol is created just click on check and save check and save button after that close it next we will do the test bench of the common source amplifier for that file new and just add underscore tb to this ok the test bench window is open so let create instance browse and uh, select your library select the common source symbol 
place it here with that now we need some sources for this that is uh, uh, vsin and vdc so let's go to browse analog library and then analog library vsin 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 symbol is there we need to change some parameters ac magnitude 1 and uh, offset voltage AC magnitude is 1 offset voltage should be 0 and amplitude should be 5 milli that is small m and frequency here yeah, should be 1k so click on hide place your v sign here and the source we need is a VDC VDC so here the DC voltage first you place as it is VDC here one VDC so we place under here and the three VDCs so for changing the parameters just click on that component and press Q and go to the voltage it's a uh, 2.5 volts okay DC voltage it's Q DC voltage is minus 2.5 volts press ok next here properties DC voltage is 1 volt so apply okay so after doing this we need a pin here v out v o u t v out okay hide just place it here after that we make the connections and uh, we need one more component called a ground of these things that is g m t ground here 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 So after that we will connect it. Just click here. Yes, it's so to this point and this will connect it to this point. This will connect it to after connecting these things just click on check and see it's connected perfectly so in the next part we will see how to simulate this test bench circuit okay thank you now we will see how to simulate this test bench okay just to launch ADL okay and just click on ACDC analysis for transient analysis Q 5 milli that is small m Tick the moderate apply next we will go for a DC voltage save DC operating point component parameter select component select V sign select VDC to here so that is minus 5 to 5 the range minus 5 to 5 voltage range click on apply the next we will go for a AC analysis so start stop time on so for the AC analysis we'll give 150 to 100 mega 100 mega okay click apply okay so now after that go to setup as usual from schematic select the input and the output pin click on the run button okay just split the waveforms we will say about to see the inputs and outputs so this is transient response here C and DC response of the common source amplifier so this completes your simulation common source amplifier that is a test bench simulation 
so in next part we will see the layout of this common source simplifier thank you so let's uh, make a layout of the common source simplifier so for that go to file open your library so my library here is atme ce in that go to the cs amplifier schematic click ok before launching the layout just check it out if the source and body of the transistor is shorted so just make it the body type as integrated go to properties and here change the body type as integrated okay apply okay so this is also the body source type is connected source is connected to the body so go to properties change this as integrated okay so after that launch layout excel so click okay okay so here we will here we will get the layout excel window so here click on connectivity generate all from source okay okay we will get this pmos and mos and some pins just select all of them at once and go to connectivity nets show hide incomplete nets for the connection okay to change the view just press shift plus f to change the view okay after that so the transistor length and width is varied here so that's why we need to rotate so for that right click select the component right click rotate and click on rotate right the component is rotated now just click on this press m to move the component so press f3 to change the snap mode and change it to any angle for free rotation of the component so place it wherever you want so next we'll apply same for this right click rotate right rotate right okay. and just click select move and for this you use up and up and down arrow keys for the moment of the component so here we'll place it here nearby this so after this sele select the component first and click on move now you see the connections can we see the connections this side and this side is connected to so this metal strap so we need a flip of this one because this terminal is connected to this so that's why right click rotate a flip vertical yes now it is flipped so now you can see the connection it is connected to this end so see more so now it is on the straight line so next after that now you come to the pins select all the pins at a time and just click M and move this to one place so here so after the click on single pin press Q you will know which pin it is so it is a VSS so connect it to the NMOS Here it is connected to this. This has only one connection, so place it here. It's VSS. So next, uh, 
next we have another pin here let's see which pin it is so it is a VN it is connected to the PMOS of the it is connected to the PMOS so place it here it is a VN and next pin it's a V out V out it is connected to the board terminals so it's better to place it in middle it is connected to this terminal as well as this terminal so just click here so next after this one proper click on properties VDD ok it's a VDD pin it's only connected to the only single terminal so we know the connection all these connections by the schematic according to that we are placing the pins ok VDD at the top so next this one I think it's V bias ok V bias it is connected so it is connected let's see no it's connected to this terminal only this terminal only so let's place it here ok do that now we take the wire we just click on the create wire or control shift W we'll get the same option so before that we need to place some wires because it's a metal plate and it needs to be connected to a poly that's why create wire or here there is a symbol called create wire in that wire definition select M1 to poly 1 that is metal 1 to poly 1 just place it here we need a one more wire to the V in terminal so for that ok for this experiment we need only two wires so after that select wire and go to poly it is connected like that we complete the connections so just once confirm is it connected properly or not it is connected so after that just click here just place it Okay, after completing all these things, press escape. Okay, and place this PR boundary to any one of the axes. We'll place it here. Okay, now all the connections are come according to me, or as it is completed. If the connections are left, it will we will see it in DRC. So run DRC that is design rule check. Okay, click OK. Okay. Yes. Yes. There will be no any DRC errors. There are no DRC errors here. So next we will go for a LVS. Run LVS. That is layout versus schematic. It compares the layout of the common source the schematic of the common source so zero mismatches so we already successfully done the LVS with no mismatches its layout and schematic are matched so after that now we need to run 
uh, RC extraction that is parasitic extraction of this so run LVS okay okay oh, no it's not LVS I think Ashura run RCX here it is the run RCX okay 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 now it's created a AB extracted view of this layout so uh, click here close open the AB extraction file go to file open in the CS amplifier here the AB extracted select the AB extracted click OK you will get the AB extraction of the same so for changing the view just press shift F you can see the register and capacitors inside your layout so this is what we call it as a parasitic extraction of the layout so this completes your layout and uh, AC uh, layout and DRC LVS and RC extraction so this completes your common source layout thank you